Hello, in this video we are going to talk about Mibendazole drug. Table of Objectives. Overview. Indications. Side effects. Warnings. Dosage. Brands. Let's start with the overview. Mibendazole is a broad-spectrum anthelmintic or antiparasitic agent. It was developed in 1972. Chemically mibendazole is identified as the carbamic acid methyl ester. Mibendazole is effective in intestinal worm infections such as pinworm, roundworm and hookworm. Mibendazole is administered orally. Indications. Mibendazole is primarily indicated in conditions like ascariasis, capillary infection, enterobiasis, gastric acid reduction, judiasis, guinea worm infection, hookworm infection, hydatid disease, onchocerciasis, pinworm infection, prostate cancer, roundworm infection, tapeworm infection, threadworm infection, trichinosis, whipworm infection. Side effects. The severe or irreversible adverse effects of mebendazole, which give rise to further complications include alopecia, thrombocytopenia, bone marrow depression. Mebendazole produces potentially life-threatening effects which include leukopenia, which are responsible for the discontinuation of mebendazole therapy. The symptomatic adverse reactions produced by mebendazole are more or less tolerable, and if they become severe, they can be treated symptomatically. These include dizziness, headache, diarrhea, parexia, abdominal colic, dizziness. Warnings. Mibendazole should be used with caution in patients with liver disease, anemia or reaction to this medication previously. It should be used with caution during pregnancy or lactation. High risk groups. The drug should not be given to pregnant mothers and neonates. If prescribing authority justifies the benefits of the drug against the possible damages, he or she should reevaluate them and consult the reference material and previous studies. Dosage. The adult dose is 100 mg single dose 100 mg frequency of drug is 12 hourly. And the route is oral. Brands. Vermox. Wormizol. That's it for now. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to press subscribe button.